Hello again and welcome to part two of kid-friendly vocabulary definitions for third and fourth graders. The word is ancient. Ancient means that it's something super old, older, even older than your parents or grandparents were even born. Think of castles and dinosaurs. That is ancient. The next word is approach. Approach means when you move closer to something. It's like you're moving closer to a friend of yours at the playground. So you approach your friend at the playground. Approach. The next word is arrange. Arrange. This means you put things in a neat order. It's just like arranging your toys on the shelf. The next word is Arctic. Arctic. This is a place on Earth that is super, super cold with lots of snow and ice. It's just like being in a giant freezer. The next word is attitude. Attitude. This is how you feel about something. It could be sad, happy, or grumpy. The next word is attract. Attract. This means something pulls you in because you like it. It could be something that you like calling you to the kitchen, attracting you to the kitchen. The next word is average. Average. This means sort of something in the middle. Not the biggest nor the smallest. It could be like something when you take a test and you have an average score. It's okay. It's not the highest, nor it is not also the lowest. Our next word is avoid. Avoid. This means staying away from something that you don't want to happen. Just like avoiding a puddle from the rain. Our next word is bold. Bold. This means someone is brave and not scared to try new things. It's just like being the first one to try to climb a tree or the first one to do something that no one has ever done before. Our next word is border. Border. This is the edge or a line around something. It's like having a border around your house or the border around the schoolyard. The next word is brief. Brief. This means something is short, like a short story or a short movie. The next word is brilliant. Brilliant. This means that something is super shiny or bright, like the sun or a disco ball. It could also mean a very good idea, which is sometimes people say brilliant. Our next word is cable. Cable. This is like a super strong rope. Imagine a very thick rope using it to pull a heavy, heavy, big truck. Our next word is capture. Capture. This means you catch something, like catching a butterfly or a dragonfly or catching a cold. Our next word, we have two possible pronunciations. It could be certain, certain, or the more Americanized way, certain, certain. It means you're absolutely sure about something. No doubt about it. It's like you're certain that the sun will rise in the morning. Our next word is chill. Chill. This means this is how it feels when it's cold. It's like you, how your hands will feel when you just got done playing in the snow or when you hold on to an ice cube from the fridge. Our next word is clever. Clever. 
This means someone is smart and quick thinking. It's like having a clever idea to solve the problem. The next word is climate. Climate. This is like an average weather in a place. For example, in a beachy place, the climate is warm. In a mountainous place, the climate is cold. Our next word is cling. Cling. This means to hold on tight and not let go. It's just like when you see a baby monkey clinging to his mother when his mother walks around. Our next word is coast. Coast. This is the land next to the ocean. Think of it like the place where you build sand castles or you dug holes. Our next word is confess. Confess. This is when you tell the truth about something that you did wrong. Just like when you confess that you were the one who ate the last cookie. Our next word is consider. Consider. This means you think carefully about something before you do it. It's like considering carefully whether you want to buy a PS5 or an Xbox or a Samsung cell phone or an iPhone.